All right, we're going to do a little video with Archie, and he's learning his place, his down, jumping the walls, uh, walking with me on the leash, and just moving with me in general, and working with me instead of against me. That's the biggest thing about these little drills, is building some engagement, and uh, having the dog learn to focus on me a little bit, and waiting for that next command, and teaching them to acknowledge me. And then the, the more he does that, the better it is for him, the more rewards he gets, and the more fun he has. So uh, it's a win-win for everyone. And we will show you where we're at with Archie. Ah. Good. Huh. Huh. Place. Sit. Good. Okay. Up. Place. Down. Yes. Place. Down. Yes. Nope. Down. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Up. Nope, come on. Up. Sit. Good. Okay. So one thing right there I wanted to point out when he came off of this platform right there. For whatever reason, he started looking back at the door like wanting to pull that way. That's why I always start this off on a leash. Because if you don't and you have a dog like this, it gets distracted easy and always wants to go look at this, look at that. You're going to spend all your time, Archie come here, Archie come here. You're going to spend all your time doing that. Just put them on a simple, and I'm telling you this is like a $3 little slip lead leash is all I'm using. And uh, But to see like even right now. He's kind of all over the place. He's not really focusing on me. So that's what, that's the main thing with him. He's got to learn to focus on the handler, the owner, whoever it is that has a hold of the other side of the leash. And then eventually you don't even need the leash anymore because it's just a habit for them. And that's all this is, is creating a new habit for him. Everything is a pattern. Everything is a new habit. It's, that's how dogs are. So uh, we're gonna do this one more time and I'll kind of show you. And now that you know what to look for with his behavior a little bit better, you'll understand what I'm saying. So like right there. Huh. Yes, place. No place. Good. Good. You see, even right now, he's looking all over the floor. I haven't, there's, for no reason, other than that he has the attention span of a fly. So, in order to fix this, yes, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna reward him only when he's giving me some eye contact or even acknowledging me. Good boy. Sit. Yes. Place. Yes. That's what I want right here. Sitting down, facing me. Now we've got a couple, couple of, uh, uh place. We've got a couple other dogs in the background here that are kind of getting his attention, which is good. It adds a little bit more distraction. Good. Place. Down. Yes. Up. Up. Come. 
place, down. Good. Place. Yes. Sit. Down. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Up. Come. Up. Place. Up. Up. Place. Down. Yes. Good. So you saw as we did that, the focus got better and better and better. And a lot of that too is when you have a dog like him, he's really darty and can't keep focused for very long. That's on me. I have to up the tempo and keep his attention. I can't be dull and boring or it's just setting him up for failure. I kind of have to, you know, cater to that for a little while. And then I start slowing down the commands a little bit. Just like over here when he's laying down, I started withholding the reward a little bit longer when he was in a down. That's how you get him to sit down and that's how you get those extended downs because you're conditioning them to wait for their payment. So let me just show you that real quick. Come here. Up, place, down. Good. Nope. Down. Good. So that's why I have the leash on him right there. He jumped down and I was able to get him back up there and not have to be calling his name and chasing him around and getting him regrouped. Good. Good. Yes. I'm rewarding him for a lot of eye contact too. Yes. Okay. So then there toward the, or at the very end, I said, okay, that's me conditioning him to wait for a release command. So if you have a dog that's staying or in a command, the best way to get them to stay longer is for them to wait to hear you to release them. That's a big mistake people make when they're teaching their dog a down or a stay. They don't give them that release command. So the dog just starts daydreaming. If you give them a release command, they are thinking they're waiting for that command instead of just waiting for no reason at all and letting their mind wander. Um, so break it all down very simple. I want you to sit here. I want you to lay here. I want you to stay here and you wait till I tell you to move. And then eventually you don't even, you know, like again, it creates a habit. You don't need to make, you don't have to worry so much about all the commands. You're just gonna say down, the dog's gonna lay down and lay there, you know, until you, until he reads your body language that it's okay for him to get up. So 
But always start off on a leash. That's the most important thing when starting off trying to train a dog. Start them off on the leash. I don't care anything. You bring a dog home, you have a puppy, put a leash on them. That way, if there's an accident, you can grab the leash. You're not trying to grab the dog and, and hover over the dog. You can just grab the leash and go. Uh, the leash is your best friend when you're first starting off with a dog. And it's not a bad thing. It's very, it's very good because the more you have that leash attached to them and interacting with them, the better that leash walking is going to get too because you're not even focused on trying to walk them. You're just controlling the dog with a leash from the get-go. Yes. But you see how much easier that is. Like right there, he hopped off. I was able just to take the leash, boop, bring him right back up on here. Okay. All right, so there's a good look at Archie. And we will do uh, Charlie later on. Whoa, we'll do Charlie later on today. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Toodles.